So hi everybody, it's been an age since I've spoken to you all because I just haven't been doing filming and as you know I do travel vlogs and there was a global pandemic so I wasn't able to do those. <laughs> so it's been a year and a half since I've actually filmed a video but I thought, you know, I like doing my travelling and haven't been able to do that so instead of me going to the country, why not bring a bit of that country to me? So I have got the snack surprise box. Now it's a subscription box, uh, I think it's monthly and they send you little treats from all different countries. So I thought I would give it a go. This is obviously not sponsored or anything, I just put this off my own back and I will leave a link in the description box um, to the company if you actually want to pick up your own snack surprise box. I have no idea what country it is so it's going to be a surprise. <laughs> But I'm looking forward to trying it. Um, I have my scissors. I'm, I'm going to open the box and let's see what country we have. Obviously, guys, if you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up for me and so I can't speak today. Subscribe and also comment what country you think has the best snacks. I feel like America would be up there because they just have such cool stuff. I literally love, is it Twizzlers, the um, like the red licorice, oh. okay, we're in the box, <laughs> okay, we have Portugal, and look at all the yummy things we have in here, oh, I'm excited, I don't know if I'm going to try every single thing, because I feel like there's a lot, and it's just little on me, <laughs> but yeah, we have Okay, so we've got Portugal. I've never been to Portugal, so this will be interesting. I told you a little, oh, they do like facts about it. They facts about the country. And also, it tells you all the little treats and snacks that you get inside. Also, people that have been following me, the room is different because I've moved house. I'm not in my old house anymore. I'm in a temporary living place until I get my new place. Hence the blue and it probably been a bit darker than my usual videos. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get into these treats. First one I'm going to look at is Chippy, Chippy Ko. Okay. Where's this little thingy that tells you what's going on with this? All oh, these pages of it. Okay. This is a croissant made with soft dough and delicious cocoa cream filling that gives you the energy you need. Okay, maybe like a breakfast thing then? Chip, chippy KO. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, this is such a fun video. Why did I not think of doing this before? Oh, okay. So it is generally like a croissant. Just like a sausage, sausage shaped one as opposed to a curly. Mm, okay. You see that? It's got like. Mm. It's basically, yeah, like a, a cross between croissant and a pan of chocolat. It's not bad. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Oh, thumbs up that. Oh, there's so many things in here. I just want to like poke around and see what else. <gasps> What's all this? It's an umbrella. Hmm. Okay, so this is a umbrella. Som Brinhas. Now I apologize to anyone who speaks Portuguese and I am absolutely killing it. <laughs> Butchering the language, I apologize. I'm all for pronunciation. So this, the iconic Portuguese chocolate umbrella, it brings back many childhood memories to many Portuguese. I think it's just a chocolate. Okay, should we have a look? Oh, I'm already sweeted out after that croissant, to be fair. But we'll have a look at this. Oh, okay. So it's, it is literally just chocolate in there. I'm going to just... <laughs> Dropping crumbs, this is good. Okay. Okay, I'm dropping crumbs. 
chocolate crumbs. Never the best crumb to drop. Um, mm. Okay, it's all right. It's, I wouldn't say it's my favourite kind of chocolate. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a fussy of chocolate. I don't know. I, I like certain ones. I'm not a massive sweet person. I'm more savoury. So, on that note, shall we try something savoury? I have a pack of Lay's. Campesinas. Right. Lay's Campesinas. Tomato flavoured crisps that make you feel the taste of a Mediterranean farm. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to like these. Lay's are like the European or the different version of Walkers, I think. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Mm. They are very nice. I love one of those. Okay. Mm-hmm. I do like crisps though, so it's probably not gonna be many that I don't like. There is some more in here, but oh. I might actually go for the drink. So this is the drink that you get in it. Sumol. Okay, Sumol, a highly refreshing drink with pineapple juice, lightly carbonated with real fruit pulp, and truly Portuguese drink. Now that sounds nice. I absolutely love pineapple. Like at the moment I'm just sitting at work eating bowls of it. <laughs> That's a bit weird, but oh, I think I'm gonna like this one. Mmm. Okay. That tastes like summer holiday. <laughs> like if you go abroad and you yeah, you get a a can of drink, a can of fizz. It's just like this. I can imagine sitting on a beach or like a little beach bar and having lunch and having one of these. I'm going to put that up there. But that's really nice. I would definitely drink that again. Now what else have we got in here? This looks interesting. Okay. It's really light. I'm really sorry. I'm going to really like butcher this pronunciation Behanos das Caldas okay. okay bad pronunciation there but I'll tell you what it means small crunchy balls bathed in sugar and lemon syrup from the city of Calderana okay probably not gonna like these because I don't really like lemon flavored things but I will give one a go for the sake of the video. Do I just pop the whole thing in? I guess so. Mm. Okay. They're not that lemony. Um, it's not really my kind of thing. It's, a bit, it's hard to describe. It reminds me a bit of. The texture of a pitter roll, a fit, a fit, a little bit of a fitter roll, kind of like that without like the nice chocolate and the cream. Mm, I'm not keen on that one, but don't worry, any food that I'm not eating will be eaten by my family and my friends. None of it's going to waste. My dad and brother will probably devour those because they love anything sweet and cakey. Um, okay, we have another bag of crisps. Mm -hmm. We have these ones. Super Doradas Batatas Fritas. Okay. Mm, let's have a look. So these are crinkle cut potato crisps with in an intense chorizo, chorizo Portuguese pork sausage flavour. Okay. I guess it looks like chorizo. Ooh, okay. They look quite fiery quite colourful. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like those. I think I um, actually might prefer them to the other ones. Nice flavour. 
a little bit different as well. Do they taste like chorizo? I suppose they kind of do. Spicy meat. <laughs> For want of a better way of explaining it, that is what it tastes like. Yeah, I eat those. Quite happy with that. Right, what we have left in here is a load of sweetie things. Oh, this okay. This sounds nice. It's like a, it looks like a passion fruit chocolate bar. Is that even focusing? There we go. So, what's it say about this? Regina milk chocolate, delicious and creamy pineapple and passion fruit flavor, flavored milk chocolate. Mmm. Okay, now that sounds nice. Like I said earlier, I do enjoy a bit of pineapple. So let's have a little bit of this, shall we? Okay, that's a bit more than what I wanted, but... Mmm. That's really strange. It's chocolate, but it does taste like fruit. It's quite pleasant. Okay. Mmm. That is really nice. Yeah, it's like, it's weird because it's chocolate and it's quite nice chocolate, but you can really taste the fruit and it just makes it more refreshing. You can imagine in a hot country. Yeah, I'm going to just have a sip of my surumal because, um, chocolate, but yeah. Mmm. <clears throat> what am I going to Portugal? This is the kind of thing that I'm eating. I mean, I avoid the pastry things, but... Okay, we have some sweets. <clears throat> so it's them ones. Penhas Caramelos Saba Fruta. Again, I'm so sorry about pronunciation. <laughs> so these are classic fruit toffees. With a delicate creamy flavour. Everyone raves about enjoying a Penha product. Do they now? Let's have a little try of one of these I don't like fruit toffee so I've got an orange one does it, like, does it really look like toffee mmm it doesn't taste like toffee either it's just basically a chewy fruity mmm Reminds me of Fruitella, you know, what we get in the UK. Very, very much like that. I'm just having a look at my last little thing. So there's a few of these in here. Well, I'll chew the sweet, stew, excuse me. Mm. Which I'm not going to try, but I guess they're just like little. Let me see that. Why is it not focusing? Yeah, little sweets. So I'm going to leave those guys. <laughs> We're chewing, sitting here chewing forever, and I'm sure that'd be really boring for you. Um, mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tartlets. Tartlets. Oh, hang on. This stuff. Sorry, I'm just reading about it. Is gum. It's Gorilla Gum. Gorillas mark the history of the tasty world of chewing gum in Portugal since 1975. Oh, okay, so that's a pretty good element to put in that in my mouth. And yeah, it's chewing gum. Nearly missed that bit out, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, tartlet. Where's the. It's a Vieira tart tartlets. Tartlets with a delicious and rich strawberry filling in the centre. They are Moorish. Okay. Strawberry, strawberry tarts. I can get into them. That would be good. Oh. Oh no. This is what you have to edit out the. I can't get into the packet. Okay, so it's like a biscuit. There we go. Oh, okay. So it's a bit like. It reminds me of kind of like a jammy dodger. Mm hmm. Definitely like a Jamie Dodger. Hmm. 
and they're quite nice. Not something that I would particularly choose because I'm not, like I say, much of a sweet person. Mm, not bad though. Mm, okay, so we'll finish that. We have nugget, nougat, nugget. There we go. Where is the little description about the nougat? Oh, I'm eating my hair. Okay, I can't find the thing about the nougat. Oh, it's there. A delicious bar of nugget made from pure honey and peanuts that are roasted in a traditional way. Okay. I like peanuts. I like peanuts a lot. So. Maybe. Oh, I'm not sure. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. That reminds me of, like, peanut brittle. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah, that people know what peanut brittle is. It's just like that. And I like that a lot. Or those Mr. Tom's peanut bars. Just like that. Okay, the last thing I have is a sugars. Now these are like chewy. Yeah, classic chewy fruit flavoured sweets. And with concentrated fruit juice. And there's five classic flavours to try. Okay, so I'm going to go for a purpley one, maybe black currant, if I can get into it. <laughs> My cat is sitting behind me, just like, what are you doing, Mum? Eating all this rubbish. <laughs> okay. Oh, it smells like this. Okay. Mmm. That's cherry. That's really nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's just like, I'll chew it. Fruit. More like fruit teller than a chew it, to be honest. But Okay, so. Verdict. Let's have swallowed that sweet. Love the new girl. So I love peanuts, so that's good really really liked the fruit chocolate that's the most unusual thing that i've had today but it was really good and yeah i do really like the like chorizo crisps I'd probably say i'm a favorite my least favorite would probably be the balls because it's not really my thing and yeah the pastry the croissant because just because i'm not that much of a sweet person <laughs> That sounds awful. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up for me. Um, I have subscribed to this box, so I will be doing more of these videos. Um, if you guys like them, please comment and let me know if it's something you want to see. Um, but yeah, I don't know what the next one's going to be. Obviously, it's a surprise, and I'm not sure how long it's going to be till it comes. I don't think it's going to be that long, because I got this one kind of later in the month. But yes, that was Portugal. Well done, Portugal amazing stuff anyway i hope everyone is well and enjoying the sunshine now we finally got some because come on england sort it out <laughs> i'll speak to you all soon take care bye